Ah uh, yes, the classic Elden Ring gamer setup. What more could a guy need? The window placement is confusing to me, like it's floor to ceiling, but it only takes up a pizza slice of the room. Hi again guys, and today I'm gonna be a hypocrite. What's new? Some people in the world just live in some tragic setup, and I have no legs to stand on here. Mainly because I'm a floating hoodie, so literally no legs, but I've practically made a cubicle for myself to live in. Why do you think I don't let you look any more to the left or right of the camera frame than I do? If you enjoy this video, there will be this big card at the end that you can click or tap to take you to another one like it. It's such a turn on when you do that if you are 22 years or older. Also, only half of you are subscribed. Kinda hurts my feelings, so please subscribe with notifications on. I am really desperate. What do you guys think of my double-decker couch? Yeah, this is definitely a male living space. Bro hung that shit over the stairs. He is putting a lot of trust in the drywall behind that couch. Either that or he wants the platform to fall and kill someone as part of a fraternity hazing. This idea comes off like a dude who was just in a stadium once. Got that feeling of vertigo you get from looking down at the seats below and was like, I want this feeling from the comfort of a couch. And thus the double-decker sofa was born. This is the home of a dude who just came back from the hunt. The only things he owns are all the animals he's killed. It's like George of the Jungle decided to buy his first house. He has no idea what the fuck furniture is. He just recognized the leather of the chair, so we bought it to make clothes out of. Finally moved into my first place with no roommates. What do you think? Well, you weren't kidding. You got rid of all the mates because your new place is all fucking room. Putting fridge into the bathroom. This sounds like the thought of a second grader. If I ate what I shitted, then I could shit what I just ate. But hey, I'll at least hear this guy out. So I have a master bedroom and I'm thinking of putting a fridge into the bathroom. There is an unused bathtub that I want to put my fridge in. I can elevate the fridge by putting it on a box or platform or something to make it high enough to open the doors. I'm not high enough to process this. The reason I'm thinking of doing this is because I think it will be more silent? Thoughts? I'm so lost. What the hell would be made quieter from this? I'm not really sure why he's asking for thoughts. It feels like he's already decided that he's gonna do it and he's asking here because he got excited and just really wanted to tell somebody. Speaking of thoughts, he got some of the replies and they were really beating his ass for this one. How high were you when you wrote this? Very. Food and bathroom is a no-go and as someone who's eaten a protein bar while using a urinal can confirm. If anyone ever comes over or even just finds out that you do this, they'll think you're insane slash gross. I strongly recommend against it. That already happens when people come over to my place so I got nothing to lose. Bro, you're gonna die if you use the path. Yeah, I won't lie. My brain defaulted to the toaster and the bathtub imagery when I first read this too. Wes Anderson levels of symmetry. How the hell do you have two perfectly level fridges and not a TV stand? That's like getting a pan, some eggs, butter, cheese, you're about to make a killer breakfast, and then you realize, wait a second, I don't own a stove or a house. Where am I? It won't fit. That's what she said. Yeah, and she was fucking right. I'm not convinced the TVs end where the picture does. It looks like they could wrap around the entirety of the house and just block off every entrance and exit. This guy and whoever lives there has been stuck inside for weeks without food and are posting to r slash male living spaces in a cry for help. They're looking for design tips on how to escape the hell they've made for themselves. Y'all ever make a haha -ha funny and forget to buy shower curtain rings? I won't lie, when I moved out for the first time, the absolute last thing I thought of was something as specific as shower curtain rings, but I would not have the engineer brain to tie grocery bags as replacements. Oh yeah, speaking of replacements, some of y'all have noticed this funky little mask my face has magically transformed into looking like. You said it looked like I got Botox and took the wrinkles out. Well, you can buy these now on maskedup.shop. Not only that, but we just launched the entire Masked Up Essentials line. That consists of the signature blue mask, the signature t-shirt, and the signature hoodie that looks just like me. I know a lot of you guys have wanted to be inside me, the living floating hoodie, and this is the closest you'll ever get. So pick them up at maskedup.shop, and not for a limited time. These are the essentials, so the plan is to have them going for as long as possible. So if you can't afford it now, they'll still be waiting for you. This image is a few Photoshop edits away from being liminal. Take the reflections out the window, make the lighting grainier, put some drainer music over it, and suddenly I'm making a song named after it. Stream the back rooms by quite. Finally got my new place feeling cozy. No more nagging wife. Did you kill her? My bet is on probably yes. He more than likely chopped up that poor woman's body and fed her to the fish in that sad little tank in the back. He figured he would be saving space in more ways than one. I can tell this guy's a big Morbius fan because he's doing everything he can to avoid sunlight. He's propped those big metal somethings in front of the windows of the room and has his mattress on the floor. He has put himself as far far away from vitamin D as possible. Roommate just got his first full-time job. Here's his home office. Wow. The Jimmy John's beer pong table really turned its life around. It used to be an all-night partier, and now it's a successful business desk. Gets a job, retires from pong, sad day. This setup reminds me of something I would have made when I was 12 and putting together baby's first gamer setup. I'd see all these kitted out battle station videos on YouTube and go, I want that, while obviously not being able to have that because I was a child. So I'd scrape together random shit I found to make the closest thing I could 
could. They were mostly abominations. I think my first one was I took two fucking folding trays and put them next to each other because I did not have a desk. I used the over a decade old laptop I'm currently reading the script off of, hooked it up to a 2005 4x3 aspect ratio monitor, and then I put those two next to each other on top of the folding trays with two square inches of mouse space to game with. It made me feel like an absolute god. I thought I was in the upper echelon of gamers after that shit. First night in my work in progress bedroom. All the rooms in this apartment are too small for normal twin size bed. I'd like to have some space around. A hammock slept better than my bed, still need to find a bigger one. You know, with the scenario described here, this isn't the worst looking thing in the world. It does come off more like an abstract art taste than a bedroom, but you take what you can get. It's just that the amount of stab wounds in the drywall make you wonder how many tries this shit took. The commenters were not letting that one go. That dude probably walks around in the shape of a crescent moon after sleeping there for so long. This image is so out of place it feels like it was designed to be a mess for a movie set. My homie who goes to USC, been living like this for weeks. Before he had the mattress, he would sleep on the brown pad. Is that an ironing board? Is your homie a possum? Where do you even start here? Like, knowing that he slept on that brown thing for a while is captivating. It's like we have the evolution of someone's back problem all in one image. He's got a headboard without the rest of the bed frame in the back. It's like it's just there for show. Eh, it's for a different size mattress anyway, so it would only be good for decoration. Curious to see what you guys think of my room. I think this bedroom is objectively more organized than mine. It's just that anything that's covered in Funko Pops is instantly 20% funnier to look at. Air mattress couch. Dude was trying to get as many toes into that picture as he could. His big toe is perfectly blocking a character's face, and it looks like he's holding it up for them to smell. Not gonna lie to you though, the air mattress in the living room setup is top tier when you're having company over. It's an easy way for a fuck ton of people to hang out in the living room. I just don't see this as a sustainable model though. Like, at least put the TV on a flattened cardboard box. Simplicity is what the poster calls this. Dude, get your computer off the carpet. He must have killer forearms or tendonitis. That chair is low as hell with pieces of fabric as armrests. They are not giving you any support. And I know that when you sit your ass down in those lawn chairs, they sink until your ass cheeks are just grazing the grass. You would have to reach above your head to type on that keyboard and move that mouse he's given like an inch of space to maneuver with. Need honest opinions. Was that their attempt at making a standing desk? Because they're definitely not sitting in front of that fucking thing. Where would your legs go? Looks like a room. Possibly a bedroom. Hard to tell from here. I don't know what's going on in the back there, man, but it genuinely looks like you've got a shadow man in your closet. I don't mean to alarm you, but your roommate is an otherworldly visitor. My friend drilled his own hammock into the apartment ceiling for more floor space. It like almost makes sense if you're in a college dorm, but what the hell do you need an indoor hammock that badly for? There's not exactly a view to admire unless you really like popcorn kernels. What would you get out of laying in a banana shape inside of this thing that you wouldn't from a bed or even a couch? Is it literally just not wanting anything on the floor? This one just looks very domestic. I know there's a funny story and good memories behind that duck. Moved in with my girlfriend this weekend. The Xbox was essential. Made this TV stand out of unused roof tiles. Dude said he made a TV stand like he recycled materials into a finished piece of furniture. They are literally just freestanding. The wood he put on top of them is two separate squares of plywood. Finally decided enough is enough and kicked her out. Time to start designing and building the way I want. The fun begins. He typed that so ominously. It's like his design sense is a rot, an infection that's slowly taking over the otherwise reasonable looking apartment. First a bong appears on the coffee table, then a single red solo cup. But that's just the beginning. Before you know it, there will be empty monster energy cans and liquor bottles on every surface in the house. This one just pisses me off. The dude didn't even angle the chair to face the TV. You're making it more uncomfortable to be a couch potato. If you're doing it like that, what's even the point of being lazy? Two weeks until I move in with girlfriend, remembering my living room setup. The living room almost looks like it could be cozy. Very nostalgic, got the N64, three separate game cubes on the windowsill for some reason. All that if it wasn't for the TV that's stacked on top of a plank of wood on a radiator. That you're practically begging God to destroy all the expensive shit you put on top of it. The entire design of this room is centered around that radiator. It has controlled how this dude hung out with his friends for the entire time he's lived in that place. Glizzy consumption station in my room. That is what we call a concussion corner because if you are any taller than I am, 5'5", five five, you will have repeated head trauma from smacking your head on the ceiling every time you try to stand up. My friend's boyfriend is using an old bed frame as a dresser. I actually really like that in concept. It definitely needs to be cleaned up, but it's not an awful use of an old bed frame, especially if you want a shelf that's physically taller than you. The most poignant complaint I could make about this is that it looks like he never got a new bed frame after. Like, that's the only thing in his room right now. Also, he's using that motherfucker as a shelf for literally everything. Books? Clothes? Vinyls? Ties? No exceptions. Though if you've seen what's on this thing, you know I'm kind of being a hypocrite. As promised. What happened here? This is a male living space that has been left to wither away during the apocalypse. No one has been here in years. Just 
just has the memories of a simpler time before there were flesh-eating zombies. Workspace at Grandma's. It's better like this. And they just put one of those cloth snowflakes over the laptop to fit it in with the environment. When I travel, I gotta say I am not proud of some of the setups I have made in various Airbnbs. I have put together some scuff setups to work at. What do y'all think? What what do we think? That You can't have asked that unironically. Dude couldn't have taken that picture and thought, yeah, the subreddit will love this one. Does the fridge even do anything, or is it just a roadblock to the bed? I don't think it's plugged in anywhere. He's just cleared himself a little traffic roundabout that he can walk to the rest of the room from around it. Okay, this one's just smart. If you need to use a wheelchair regularly, you might as well integrate it into the way you game. I approve of this setup. Definitely not of the camera, though. That shit is whack. Anyways, I'm gonna wrap this up here. That card I mentioned should be on screen, and I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe with notifications on. It makes me feel all good inside. Oh yeah, Masked Up Essentials on MaskedUp.shop. Uh, they're, they're always there. Play, you, check them out. Don't go after anyone I talked about today, because that's cringe. Anyway, this has been Quite, and I'm gone.